Okay, uh, let's take a look at one of your homework problems from chapter 22, uh, and this is number 2215. Okay, in this example it says what is the wavelength of a 25.75 times 10 to the 9 hertz radi radar signal in free space. Okay, so radar is just another region of the electromagnetic spectrum and they're telling us that the frequency is 25.75 times 10 to the 9 hertz. Radar, being a frequency of this range, means it's in the radio frequency of the spectrum. Anybody know what radar stands for? Anybody in the uh, ROTC program here? Okay. Radar stands for radio detection and ranging. That's what radar means radio wave detection and ranging. And so you can use radar to detect opponents and range. How far away are they? Okay, so that's what radar means. So the speed of light they tell us is not really 3 times 10 to the 8. It is actually 2.9979 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So it's pretty close to 3 times 10 to the 8th, and that's why we usually approximate it. But this is the exact value. And now they want to know what is lambda. Okay, when you think about these electromagnetic waves, what we said was the electric field is going up and down like that. And if we're thinking about a wavelength, That's my jam. It's not my jam. <laughs> what are we talking about? We're talking about how far is it from there to there, okay? which is the same as how far is it from there to there. Any time the wave repeats itself, that is one lambda. All right? And we know the relationship, right? We know that C is equal to F times lambda. So what is lambda? It is C over F. And now we have all those numbers, right? C is 2.9979 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. F, we said, was 25.75 times 10 to the 9. Hertz is 1 over seconds. And so we're going to end up with something in meters. And they want four significant figures. Okay, so that's going to be tough for me to approximate it here. So somebody punch this into your calculator and tell me what you get for that answer right there. 1.164 times 10 to the Okay, and the units are meters. The per seconds are going to cancel out. 10 to the minus 2. That sounds good, right? That sounds like radio wavelengths. Why does it sound like radio wavelengths? Because it's centimeters. And when you think about a radio, the antenna has to be on the order of the wavelength. So if this is my wavelength of a half a meter, that would be AM radio station or maybe even FM. This is centimeters. But that's okay. That's on that order right there. All right, so let's punch in that number and see if we get the right answer. 1.164 times 10 to the minus 2, and the units are meters. And that is indeed the correct answer. Okay, and now as a follow-up to part B, it says, What's the frequency of an X-ray with wavelength 0.11 nanometers? 
So that one you can handle on your own. You're of course going to use the same relationship. C is equal to F lambda. But there's an important point here, which is if I'm thinking about radar waves moving through space, and then I'm thinking about X-rays moving through space, are both of those things really moving at the same speed? And the answer is yes, they are. All electromagnetic waves travel through free space, through vacuum, the universe, at this particular speed. It doesn't matter if they're X-rays or if they are radio waves. They all go through at the exact same speed. This is the universal speed limit for the universe. Okay, this is as fast as you can go.